hello friends welcome to this youtube channel if you are watching this video please don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and click the bell icon for the next coming videos today we are going to discuss most important questions of UGC net paper one uh, now let us see the first question the first question is which one of the following statements is correct in the context of multiple choice type questions here the options are option A, they are more objective than true false type questions. Option B, they are less objective than easy type questions. Option C, they are more subjective than short answer type questions. Option D, they are more subjective than true false type questions. Here the correct answer is option A, they are more objective than true false type questions is the correct answer. Okay, friends. Let let us next let us see next question. Next question is: As chairman of an independent commission on education, Jax Delors report to UNESCO was titled. Here the options are option A, International Commission on Education report; option B, Millennium Development report; option C, Learning the Treasure Within; option D, World Declaration on Education for All. Here the correct answer is option C. Option C is the correct answer. Learning the treasure within. Okay friends. Now let us see next question. The next question is. What are required for good teaching? The question is. What are required for good teaching? Here the options are option. A. Diagnosis. B. Remedy. Direction. Feedback. Here the correct answer is option A. A, B, C, D all these are required for good teaching okay friends a b c d diagnosis remedy direction feedback all these are required for good teaching okay friends option a is the correct answer now let us see next question next question is which of the following statements is not true in the context of participatory research here the options are option A, it recognizes knowledge as power. Option B, it emphasizes on people as experts. Option C, it is a collective process of inquiry. Option D, its sole purpose is production of knowledge. Okay, friends, option D is the correct answer. Now let us see next question. Next question is, which one of the following statements is true in the context of the te testing of a hypothesis? The question is which of the following statements is true in the context of the testing of a hypothesis here the options are option a it is only the alternative hypothesis that can be tested option b it is only the null hypothesis that can be tested option c both the alternative and the null hypothesis can be tested option d both the alternative and the null hypothesis cannot be tested here the correct answer is option b option b is the correct answer it is only the null hypothesis that can be tested. Okay, friends. Now let us see next question. Next question is: Greater the handicap of the students coming to the educational institution, greater the demand on the. Here the options are option A, family; option B, society; option C, teacher; option D, state. Here the correct answer is option C. Okay, friends. Option C, teacher is the correct answer. Now let us see next question. Next question is, what are the characteristics of continuous and comprehensive evaluation? The question is, what are the characteristics of continuous and comprehensive evaluation? Here the options are, uh, it increases the workload on study, uh, sorry, it increases the workload on students by taking multiple tests. Option B, it replaces marks with grades. Option C, it evaluates every aspect of the students. Option D, it helps in reducing examination phobia. Here the correct answer is option D, B, C, D. B, C, D statements are the characteristics of continuous and comprehensive evaluation. Okay, friends. It replaces marks with grades. C, it evaluates every aspect of the students. D, it helps in reducing examination phobia. A, B, C, D. All these are, sorry, B, C, D. All these are 
the characteristics of continuous and comprehensive evaluation okay friends option d is the correct answer now let us see next question next question is which of the following attributes do not grade strengths of a t-shirt here the statements are statement a full-time active involvement in the institutional management option b uh, sorry statement b setting example statement c willingness to put assumption to the test or statement d acknowledging mistakes here the correct answer is option b b c d okay friends b c d statements attribute d not great strengths of a t-shirt okay friends b c d a c d b c d is the correct answer option b okay friends option b is the correct answer b c d statements are the attribute denote great strengths of a t-shirt setting examples willingness to put assumption to the test acknowledging mistakes this attribute denote great strengths of a t-shirt now let us see next question next question is which of the following are the basic rules of APA style of referencing format? Here are the statements are statement A Italicized titles of shorter works such as journal articles or issues. Statement B Invert author's names. Statement C Italicized titles of longer works such as books and journals. Statement D Alphabetically indexed reference list. Here are the correct answer is option B. B, C, D. Okay, friends. B, C, D statements are the basic rules of APA style of referencing format okay friends option b is the correct answer now let us see next question next question is which of the following are the characteristics of a seminar here the statement sir it is a form of academic instruction statement b it involves questioning discussion and debates Statement C, it involves large groups of individuals. Statement D, it needs involvement of skilled persons. Here the correct answer is uh, option D. Option D is the correct answer. A, B, D statement are the characteristics of a seminar. Okay, friends, it is a form of academic instruction and it involves questioning, discussion and debates and it involves it needs involvement of skilled persons these are the characteristics of a seminar okay friends option d is the correct answer now let us see next question next question is a researcher is interested in studying the prospects of a particular political party in an urban area what tools should be prepared for the study here the options are option a Rating scale, option B, interview, option C, questionnaire, option D, schedule. Here the correct answer is option C, questionnaire. Okay, friends. He should, spare, uh, he should prepare for the study questionnaire. Okay, friends. Option C is the correct answer. Now let us see next question. Next question is ethical norms in research do not involve guidelines for ethical norms in research do not involve guidelines for here the options are option a thesis format option b copyright option c patenting policy option d data sharing policies here the correct answer is option a thesis format okay friends option a is the correct answer ethical norms in research do not involve guidelines for thesis format now let us see next question next question is using the central point of the classroom communication as the beginning of a dynamic pattern of ideas is referred to as the question is using the central point of the classroom communication as the beginning of a dynamic pattern of ideas is referred to as here the options are option a systemization b problem orientation c ideal protocol d mind mapping here the correct answer is option d mind mapping is the correct answer okay friends now let us see next question next question is next question is aspects of the boys 
other than the speech are known as here the options are option a physical language option b personal language option c para language option d delivery language here the correct answer is option c option c is the correct answer para language okay friends aspects of the voice other than the speech are known as para language okay friends now let us next question next question is every type of communication is affected by each the question is every type of communication is affected by each here the options are option a reception b transmission c non-regulation d context here the correct answer is option d context okay friends now let us next question next qu next question is attitudes actions and appearances in the context of classroom communication are considered as the question is attitudes actions appearances in the context of classroom communication are considered as here are the options are option a verbal b non-verbal c impersonal d irrational here are the correct answer is option b non-verbal okay friends now let us see next question next question is which among the following states has the highest number of seats in the Lok Sabha? The question is, which among the following states has the highest number of seats in the Lok Sabha? Here the options are option A, Maharashtra, B, Rajasthan, C, Tamil Nadu, D, West Bengal. Here the correct answer is option A, Maharashtra. Okay, friends. Maharashtra has the highest number of seats in the Lok Sabha. Okay, friends. So this must only for today. If you are watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the next coming videos. Thank you friends.